Okay, so what you see in front of you is actually a 2006 MacBook Pro. Now, I do have quite a few of these because I have about maybe at least 10 of these computers. Now, the other day, I was cleaning out the closet and I honestly felt like I was wasting the potential of these machines. And the more I thought of it, the more it became viable, at least in my head. Now, this particular machine has a 2 gigahertz processor and is capable of supporting up to 2 gigs of DDR2 RAM. And it's a 32-bit machine. Now, it might not sound too impressive now, but those are pretty decent specs and they are capable of running an operating system at a relatively good pace. The issue with these machines is that they're no longer supported by Apple and that pretty much makes them useless. This particular one can only go up to Snow Leopard and Snow Leopard isn't even supported by Google Chrome or Firefox. Now I got to thinking what options do I have to make this computer viable in today's internet climate? Well the more and more I thought about it the more it seemed like Windows 10 was the best way to go. Now this may sound crazy but Windows 10 only requires a 1 gigahertz CPU and on the 32-bit version only requires 1 gig of RAM. This computer has twice that. So I got to thinking, how much do I really have to lose by trying this? I mean, it's an Intel-based computer. It, ha it meets the bare requirements. It should be able to run it. So I dug around in my little laptop junkyard and found the 2 gigs of RAM. These are uh, 5300 DDR2 sticks, sodium. And I went to Fry's and got a basic uh, one terabyte hard drive. I was originally going to go with SSD, but a 500 gig SSD was almost 100 bucks, and this one terabyte hard drive was $49, which seemed like a pretty good deal. So so far, I had the $49. I already had these with me, but if I didn't, I believe they're about uh, $10 to buy them separately. And well, my now current goal is to get this thing running. So I'm gonna clean this computer up, take it apart, make sure there's no screws or anything wobbling around in there in some vulnerable places and see if I can get this going. What that flashing file folder says is that the computer itself is fully functional. I stuck an another stick of RAM in there, and the only issue the computer has now is it can't find a bootable disk or an operating system to run the computer. So what I'm going to do is I want to put this computer back together, clean it up, put the hard drive into it, and get it ready to boot into Windows 10. Okay, so when it comes to installing Windows 10 on this 2006 Pro MacBook Pro, I've actually come into a bit of an odd issue. I wasn't able to run directly off the uh, Windows 10 bootable flash drive because this computer uses an EFI bootloader and does not go through BIOS. I totally forgot about that. So uh, I would need to install something called Refit. The issue is to install Refit, I have to have an OS on here. Because this thing tops out at 10.6, but I luckily found something in my stockpile of stuff this this is a stock OEM uh, Apple 10.5 DVD drive was not working it had somehow become unplugged from the main logic board so now I've pulled the computer back apart again uh, put the disk in I can hear it spinning up but I don't see anything popping up on the screen and that is kind of worrying me but uh, we'll see what the hell? You just spat it out. I wasn't able to use the 10.5 disc because the CD drive or DVD drive kept popping it out. I couldn't use 10.7 because the computer is a 32-bit 06, so I was forced to uh, find a copy of Mac OS X 10.6 with a 32-bit, and I went to make the bootable flash drive for that, and it's currently like 1 in the morning, but I want to do this. I'm just going to boot into this computer for now, get an OS installed on it, then tomorrow morning I'm going to install the refit, I'm going to install refit tomorrow morning, install Windows 32 bit on this computer, and just get this thing back up to modern standards. I got my battery that came in, this is an aftermarket Amazon battery, matches the colors almost perfectly. I realize you can open refit as an ISO file, so there is refit. Just to be clear, at this point I've already uh, installed my product key which I got from Kingwin, uh, and now it's just installing Windows on a 2006 MacBook Pro. I'm excited right now, it's working. I'll obviously have to install some drivers that are specific to this computer later on, but so far it's going pretty smoothly. 
One thing I'm, well the mouse is working, the keyboard works, but for some reason the backlight's not coming on. I'm not really too worried about it, but you know, it, it'll just be a nice feature to get working later on. There it is, Windows, no flash drives in. Okay, I'm going to start recording again after everything is properly set up. There you go, mouse is working well. That's weird, it's for some reason the Wi-Fi is not coming on. We have mouse movement, letters typing. I just got to figure out why the Wi-Fi is not working. And actually it didn't work on uh, Snow Leopard either, so I'm going to guess that there's uh, an actual hardware issue. I can fix the hardware issue, no problem. So far it looks like everything works fine. Doing some uh, poking around in this computer. I have realized that there are a few drivers that are actually missing. Uh, I believe one of them is a sound driver. And I think this computer might actually have a faulty uh, Wi-Fi card. So I'm going to sort out all that stuff in the next video or about this laptop. So far I'm actually pretty happy with the results. All the important stuff, keyboard, mouse, other stuff seems to work. There's no issue navigating everything. Things are... If you want to see more of videos of this computer, uh, more car videos, uh, just hit subscribe. If you like this video, hit like. Uh, there'll definitely be a lot more of these coming out. And so far, I feel like this is a pretty good result. Like, there's no real issues that are... Well, there are some issues, the Wi-Fi, but I believe that's more of a hardware problem. I don't think the webcam driver is in and the, the sound driver. But again, these are minor things that I'm pretty sure I can get them working 100%. That's about it. Have a good one, guys. Do whatever you do on the internet.